Hello and welcome and again to the Get Sustainable show produced by ESPN in partnership with Green Europe Today and Livestream Studio. Today I am delighted to introduce to you Mr. Rafa Urutski, ESG Director at Żabka Group, uh, one of the most recognizable brands in Poland with nearly 3 million customers um, using their services daily. The ultimate, e uh, the ultimate convenience ecosystem in Poland. Am I right, Rafael? Yes, uh, certainly. Thank you for uh, having me over. Thank you very much for joining us today. Now, uh, Rafał, in the last decade, Poland has noticed an, a true explosion of uh, Żabka stores nationwide. It is hard to find a town or village uh, without at least one of your stores. And according to your website, you have secured over 8,300 8, locations nationwide. Um, now, our focus on this show is on the sustainability aspect. Um, so my first question is why, in your view, the success of your format is also a step in the right direction in terms of providing convenient yet responsible solutions to customers? Um, I will start with, and you've sought very right information, uh, the uh, well-known Jabka stores that, that you can find in the neighborhood uh, are present across the country. Mm -hmm. Yet uh, it's important to mention that uh, Jabka is not anymore just uh, the chain of stores, okay. but this ultimate convenience ecosystem that is created and run by the Jabka Group. Um, what I would like to uh, highlight here is that we do offer as the e ecosystem everything which is available on the go okay. and uh, being a store uh, uh, run by the uh, franchise, our franchises is, is one of the aspects. However, it's not the complete story. Uh, as a group, you are also focusing on providing uh, solutions uh, uh, which are um, available uh, anyhow and anywhere. Okay. So digitalization plays here an important role and we r do it through, among others, um, our uh, e-commerce platforms, uh, Matchfit, Dietly, uh, or uh, Q-commerce uh, solutions like Jabka Yuge. Last but not least, the convenience uh, ecosystem that we create is uh, linked throughout our own branded products uh, and services that help uh, um, us to deliver value to the end customer. Okay. And responsibility plays yes. quite an important role uh, in the um, uh, way we do run our business. Last year, uh, we defined and announced our new responsibility strategy. Mm -hmm. We promised to um, our stakeholders that we would like to support and create conditions in which green and sustainable living uh, is possible from uh, for ev everyone uh, and every day. Yeah. What it means uh, in, in practice, uh, we are focusing on four core material elements uh, when it comes to our business. First of all, is to promoting sustainable lifestyle. Yeah. Secondly, we are focusing on uh, creating a positive impact in uh, the env environment, especially focusing on um, uh, entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. The third element of our uh, ambitions are, um, are correlated with responsible organization, and then um, Green Planet plays a quite an uh, important role. All these four uh, pillars of our responsibility are linked with our business strategy. It means that every single decision that we take um, in our business um, uh, consists of the non-financial uh, ESG uh, elements, uh, proving that uh, ESG agenda uh, is at the heart of uh, our business. What's also quite important for uh, Jabka Group through its scale of operations, we do know that every single decision we take has an enormous impact on our customers mm -hmm. and uh, environment. Yeah. Therefore, uh, we are um, um, taking into account um, the responsibility and sustainability aspects in our uh, business. Maybe I'll surprise you, uh, but uh, in the country, uh, about 15 million customers has less than 500 meters to uh, Jabka corner store. That's amazing. Uh, 8 million users of Jabka application that helps them uh, uh, do the um, uh, shopping. And what's quite important, it's not only about the Jabka group itself, but the whole value chain. Yeah. Uh, last year, we sustained in the Polish economy over 45,000 uh, workplaces. That's the impact that we uh, make and we decided to take even more 
responsibility. Wow, uh, really exciting stuff. And this, like the scale of the business with the uh, convenience element, so uh, the frequency that uh, customers can use the stores, gives you a lot of potential to really address the, the uh, sustainability issues and, and, and influencing positive um, habits. Um, so it's glad that you've identified this uh, area and you're doing um, a lot of work to, to try and uh, take ownership of it. So um, thank you very much. Um, now, one of the key features of the stores is the strong focus on making the customer experience the same wherever they visit, tailoring, but also tailoring the offer to the individual client and the local trading environment. So more often you seem to be doing this with the effective use of various technologies. How do you do this in practice? Uh, Indeed, technology is uh, one out of three uh, building blocks uh, of our business strategy and the way we would like to run business mm -hmm. uh, in, in the future. Uh, uh, digitalization certainly uh, is something that helps us to deliver uh, the promise to our uh, customers and build va value uh, of uh, our uh, uh, business and also helps us in expanding uh, the ultimate um, convenience um, ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, technology uh, is such an important uh, element of our uh, operations uh, that we dedicated uh, throughout the uh, changes of our organization a special business unit uh, that actually deals with um, innovation uh, and uh, finding new businesses, new solutions that will help us grow uh, the business. So we cover technology per se, but also previously mentioned e-commerce solutions, Cucumber solution, uh, solutions. Um, uh, this uh, business unit also focuses on uh, uh, actually finding new innovative uh, startups uh, or just new businesses uh, that come all together, create uh, an extra value. Just to give you a few concrete examples yeah. of uh, technology based um, uh, um, uh, solutions, uh, m you may have seen uh, a completely new f format of, of the store. Jabka Nano yeah. is a completely autonomous, uh, unmanned store. It means that you just need a either Jabka app or a bank card to access the store, mm -hmm. take whatever you, you want from the shelf, and just walk out. It's just that an amazing world. <laughs> and this is the, the this is the kind of a very special place yeah. where the magic happens. We've developed this concept uh, uh, along with the iFi um, uh, company. Uh, currently in Poland, uh, we do have over 40 of such stores that you can uh, approach um, in many places uh, across the country, uh, in the streets, but also um, uh, these new formats can be um, noticed uh, uh, in the format store in a store. Uh, so, yeah, so that's, uh, th yes. th that shows exactly how technology can profoundly change uh, the typical w way of um, uh, shopping um, um, and and, uh, and and satisfying customer needs, but that's obviously not uh, not not all. I, I previously mentioned our Jabka application, which is highly popular mm -hmm. uh, among uh, our customers. Eight million users, uh, a number of features that help you to do uh, and to use the ecosystem um, um, in, in, in in a fast and quick way. Our business goal is uh, definitely creating uh, a value uh, to the customers by simplifying their life, mm -hmm. but also saving uh, their time so that they can spend it in the way uh, they want. Yeah. Last but not least, technology also plays uh, quite an important role when it comes to uh, our collaboration with our franchisees. So the um, independent entrepreneurs that run Jabka physical stores. So through different um, technological means, we help them to optimize uh, the way they uh, uh, operate yeah. um, their businesses, also saving their time so that they can yeah. spend it more with their staff and uh, with, cu with customers. Yeah, the, uh, the ultimate definition of convenience. But also, um, the data that you collect, I imagine, really helps address issues such as food waste, which we talked uh, uh, backstage about. Um, it, uh, uh, by tailoring the offer to the, uh, the, the local environment, you're, you're able to ensure that the products on shelf, they don't spend too much time on, on these shelves because customer, you know that these customers are going to be um, wanting those products uh, uh, so, so sooner rather than later. Um, in your last report, you talk about decarbonizing the entire value chain of your operations. And this means mapping out such touch points from sourcing through to production, packaging, distribution, logistics, in-store movements and end-of-life recycling or via 
all sorts of closed loop solutions. Have you introduced any innovations at any of these steps which are absolutely unique to Jabka stores? Okay, the, so uh, lowering emission uh, and decarbonization is one of our uh, strategic focus area. Mm -hmm. And we spend so much time and effort uh, engaging not only uh, our uh, mm, uh, employees and co-workers, but also uh, a wider group of stakeholders in uh, um, making this uh, huge transformation. So Jabka uh, is the first uh, r retail and staples uh, organization in Poland and Central Europe that um, uh, got through a uh, very um, uh, uh, deep and profound process of validating our decarbonization goals by the uh, orga international organization called Science Based Targets yeah. that help us in um, defining a decarbonization roadmap. Yeah. In short, this is an action plan uh, laid um, um, across a number of years uh, that would help us to uh, become uh, climate ne neutral in scope one and two uh, mm -hmm. of emissions. Uh, reduce significantly um, uh, emission intensity in scope three, and also engage our business partners in uh, their decarbonization um, uh, pathways. Specific solutions that we uh, do recognize and test pilot across uh, the value chain that you've mentioned. Um, this is uh, something that uh, got us busy uh, yeah. in, 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 in the past uh, months. So certainly we're focusing more and more on the energy from renewable sources. Yeah. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, throughout uh, a huge uh, modernization, uh, remodeling of our uh, stores, we've already uh, uh, introduced a number of solutions that help us in reducing, uh, uh, for instance, energy um, uh, consumption. intensity, mm -hmm. consumption. Uh, we focus also on lightning, on the cooling systems, and actually and, and many other solutions that um, are quite important to, uh, first of all, help us uh, help our franchises run their stores, yeah. but also be as much as possible uh, environmentally uh, uh, friendly. Yeah. Uh, Last but not least, um, uh, looking at our operation, logistics, transport, the number of, uh, of, of, of pilots uh, are run there as well. E-crafters, uh, Volvo track uh, powered by the um, um, uh, alternative um, um, engines. These are solutions that are tested uh, right now and hopefully uh, will be in a position uh, to take a decision to implement or roll out, roll, roll out them in a larger scale. Well, fingers crossed for that. Um, with the prospect of, uh, and unfortunately uh, it's to say, but an upcoming global food crisis as a result of the war in Ukraine and uh, wider supply chain disruptions due to the pandemic, and the need for tackling food waste uh, um, has, been, uh, has never been greater. So in your ESG report, you pledged to reduce 25% of the food loss factor within your own operation and stores by 20 to 25 and manage minimum half of unsold food by 2025 in your own operations. And how do you, so how do you approach the subject of food waste prevention? Uh, food waste uh, prevention is, is uh, one of the uh, biggest challenges um, mm -hmm. uh, in the um, um, business that we do operate, not to mention uh, uh, macro, LM, macro situation, yeah. so uh, war in Ukraine, uh, uh, rising inflation and many, many, many other, uh, other aspects. So first of all, uh, and we do uh, underline that um, many times, that ultimate uh, convenience ecosystem we create actually is focused on reducing the food waste per se because we do encourage our customers to use our uh, solutions including uh, uh, purchasing um, 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 f food uh, and, and, and other products uh, um, to c for immediate consumption. Yes. So as much as you need but just right now yeah. Uh, which ultimately implies the reduction of, um, uh, of food waste. So business model helps us in uh, delivery of this promise. But th this is not enough. Uh, um, in the past years, we've introduced uh, uh, technology and other uh, um, process improvements. For instance, GS1 coding system or um, uh, special features for inventory of a quick meal solutions that help uh, us and our franchises in managing the stock of a uh, fresh um, um, and, 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 and other uh, type of uh, products uh, helping in uh, the reduction of uh, food waste. But still, uh, it's uh, not enough and we decided to, last year we decided to 
uh, use our um, uh, Jabka application and a special feature uh, which is embedded in the application yeah. called Good Package in yeah. Polish Dobra Paczka. Yeah. So this is technology uh, based solution that allows customers to purchase uh, uh, food uh, soon to expire um, uh, products oh, okay. uh, in a discounted prices. Yeah. The pilot uh, uh, has run in Poznan, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, headquarter city, and now will be rolled out uh, to uh, a greater population. We do hope uh, that uh, our customers would find th this uh, way also a convenient way yeah. to not only uh, purchase uh, uh, the goods uh, at the store, but also s help us saving food yeah. waste. And these are just a few uh, actions, initiatives uh, that we uh, do take uh, or pilot uh, to uh, be able in a position to achieve our quite an ambitious yeah. uh, food reduction uh, goals. Uh, it's interesting because you're thinking outside of the box. You've identified that um, a lot of the food waste is happening at uh, the customer's house. So by offering them convenience and the and access to fresh products daily, you are reducing the pressures that they have to have on their home fridge um, and, and, and tackling food waste in that way. So. Um, Especially having uh, in mind that so we see more and more often um, that uh, the, the customers um, uh, take the, the purchasing decision also not only based on the price mm. uh, that they see on the shelf in the store, but also taking into account uh, you know, extra financial elements like um, um, uh, this related to uh, quality of food, uh, the impact on the, your health and the lifestyle, yeah. but also the uh, the environmental uh, matters. So uh, th this all activities uh, would be very much in line with the client's needs and the uh, and the customers in, in in our ecosystem are at the very heart of what we do. Um, finally, I'd like to end by looking into the future, with, uh, into innovations developed at, uh, for example, your concept store in Białowęka uh, in Warsaw. How has successful has this project been? Are there any solutions being rolled out uh, more widespread across the nation other than the ones you've already mentioned? And can we expect more stores powered entirely using clean energy nearer our homes? Thank you for mentioning our um, incubator for uh, environmentally friendly solutions, which is based in Warsaw. Mm -hmm. um, this is the place uh, that we uh, pilot uh, globally pioneering um, um, tech solutions. Uh, that uh, would ultimately help us uh, in uh, becoming more environmentally friendly. And uh, uh, with a number of partners, uh, we are piloting their quite, um, um, quite um, uh, an, an incredible um, solutions like quantum dots, kinetic uh, floor that changes uh, your um, uh, steps into the energy, yeah. not to mention uh, more traditional, I would say, yeah. uh, solutions like photovoltaic panels uh, and uh, some other solutions related to green tr transport and uh, um, uh, air quality. So this, this is a special place when you have a first test. Uh, in some instances, we decided to roll out tests in a wider population okay. of stores to really have a proof point that yeah. uh, the tested solution have um, a positive impact uh, uh, on the environment, but on the on the uh, on the other hand side, they are uh, business valuable as well. Yeah, so uh, a number of um, uh, items tested uh, are now uh, in the pipeline for uh, further tests and hopefully roll out to the um, uh, to the entire chain. Especially, uh, we are looking at um, uh, the solutions related to cooling uh, oh systems. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, which uh, is quite energy um, um, consuming uh, element of yes. the infrastructure. And also when you look from an uh, emission point of view, yeah. it's quite um, it's an important well. uh, emission uh, factor. So the cooling would be probably uh, the first um, uh, element that you see rolled out uh, in the wider population uh, of stores. Yet uh, the uh, pool of uh, solutions that we tested, uh, that we actually still uh, um, testing in our store uh, in Warsaw mm -hmm. is not uh, just the end of the uh, story. Last year in Poznań, we opened yet another special store. We call it uh, Żabka Smart, mm -hmm. in which um, uh, we do test uh, technologies, uh, solutions and uh, new processes that uh, aim at uh, um, um, uh, optimizing processes and the effectiveness of processes in the stores, helping our franchisees to free up a little their bit time. of their time. Yeah. So this is yet another place when we test very innovative solutions. 
yet it's still once more it's not the end of the story um, uh, please watch out news in this year i hope we will have more um, innovative um, uh, solutions uh, that we will announce and hopefully test yet another pool of great uh, stuff that we will later introduce to our uh, stores uh, thank you, uh, Rafael, for making all of our uh, lives uh, more convenient, freeing up more time to uh, make more sustainable life choices. Thank you for uh, having me over, and I would like to uh, invite you to um, read our uh, latest uh, responsibility report uh, that will be out uh, mid-June, and also visit our uh, corporate website, jabkagroup.com, for more information on our responsibility. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Rafa, for being on our show today, and I wish you all the um, great, uh, greatest success in developing the convenience of retail format in Poland and beyond. Um, as always, I'd like to remind you that if you haven't yet contacted us about your appearance on the show, then now is a great time to send that note over to contact at greeneuropetoday.com. Finally, thank you very much for watching today. See you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>